what is up fbg fam welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another tower fantasy video so we had a brand new simulacra drop in the game on september 15th claudia and with a new simulacra we have a brand new tier list to see where claudia lands on that said tier list now of course like always we're going to make some adjustments to the tier list here on the simulacras that we have listed already because my opinions have changed since the last one where we did frig so we're going to make some adjustments and then we're going to see where claudia lands now as as always as a disclaimer this is just my opinion from my own personal experience on what i think about these simulacras let me know what you guys think down in the comments below i'd love to see your guys' opinion as long as it's respectful and it's constructive criticism i'd love to see what you guys have to say and where you tier these simulacras and also as a disclaimer this is strictly pve not pvp i am getting more into pvp if you've been keeping tabs on the channel been getting more into pvp so i do plan on coming out with a pvp tier list here relatively soon as i get more integrated in that side of the game but anyways with that being said let's go ahead and jump straight into it. i do hope you enjoy the video today we're going to start off with nemesis i'm going to keep nemesis right where she's at s tier she does everything great i've explained that in other tier lists i don't plan on spending too much time with a lot of these simulacras because my opinions are pretty much the same meryl same i'm leaving an s tier as long as frig is around meryl is s tier even without frig i think meryl is s tier because of the hyper body all that good stuff i'm leaving meryl s tier these two i'm not moving anywhere now moving over to the a plus tier i'm gonna leave coco ritter and subasa in the a plus tier i think they're fantastic i think they're great and i think they still belong in the a plus tier now talking about crow we all know crow got the nerfs right and some people think that nerf crow to the ground some people think crow is still viable i think crow is still viable but i don't find them to be a plus tier anymore i will bring him down to the a tier i think crow is still strong i think he can still do damage but you just can't abuse it you have to use other parts of crow's kit like his discharge and you know other parts that make up crow not just spam one ability so i'm gonna go ahead and put him in the a tier i think he can still do damage i think he's still viable i think you can still put him on a volt team and it'll work he's just not spammable and abusable like he was before i know a lot of crow mains are really upset about it but it is what it is right now moving over to shido now of course with the introduction of claudia the physical resonance shido had a really nice glow up I thought she was A plus tier before, and I think she still is A plus tier. She's definitely amazing with Claudia, and Shido is just a really good sub Malakra at this point in time. So, Shido, I'm gonna go ahead and leave in the A plus tier. Huma, same. I'm gonna leave in the A plus tier. I think Huma just brings a lot of utility, high charge rate, tank, damage, can do decent shield breaking. Huma can kind of do it all, very well rounded Simulacra, and I think deserving of being in the A plus tier now let's speak about frig so i know a lot of you in my last tier list video said i should have put frig on the s tier in the s tier excuse me and if i wasn't going to argue with you if you said frig was in s tier and trust me i was teetering i was a plus high a plus s i was right around there but now that i gave it some more thought now that i put even more time with frig Frig is certainly S tier. I don't care what anybody says. Frig is S tier. The multi slashes, the ice resonance. Frig can do it all, right? The uh, being able to buff the ice or frost uh, element. Frig is just amazing. Frig is well rounded. Frig can do it all. And one of my uh, reasons for having her an A plus and not an S is because of the single target damage wasn't all that great. But to be quite honest with you, it doesn't matter. And it's still really good. And being able to hit multiple enemies, like Frig is just amazing. So frig is going in the s tier that's the one change that i'm going to make uh in the a plus tier along with crow the rest of them i feel pretty comfortable here and then frig in the s because she's amazing now let's go ahead and move over to the a tier i'm going to leave samir in the a tier i think she's still a tier can do damage it's great um a fantastic simulacra but i just don't think she brings anything outside of dps and even in the dps department as good as it is you know you have other simulacras that can dps but also offer more in terms of utility but i like samir i'm gonna go ahead and leave her in the a tier now king i had a lot of people come after me especially the king mains on my last tier list because i had him in the what s tier last time i believe and then i brought him all the way down to the a tier during the frig tier list but I put some more investment into King. I've, I've taken some of your guys' comments into consideration. And after using King a little more extensively than I normally do, I think King is a great simulacra. And I don't mind putting him in the A plus tier. Because what I found out about King is 
if you just do the discharge and maybe just a few attacks and his skill and then get him out of there king is fantastic and does exactly what you need him to do right my problem was is that i was keeping him out there doing basic attacks wanting him to shield break and do damage which he can do but it just wasn't optimal but once i did that switch in switch out type of play style where i did the discharge i did the skill few attacks got him out King is phenomenal, and I love him in that gameplay style. So I'm going to put him in the A-plus tier because I think that's where he belongs, especially, you know, when you play him in that particular way, in my opinion, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and put him in the A-plus tier. I like King, and I put a little more time in. I took you guys' comments into consideration. And then the A-tier, I have Samir and Crow. That's just where I believe they belong. And then, I'll, and then we have Zero in the B-tier. Listen zero's great in everything and i've said this in all of my tier list video if you unlock the advancements zero starts to skyrocket but at just a zero b b tier is where zero belongs it, that's just my opinion i think he's good but i just don't think he really offers all that much outside of tanking and i guess doing some decent damage but zero b tier that's where i'm going to keep him um yeah i think he's great there now let's go ahead and talk about claudia at this time so claudia just released i've been using her in all sorts of different teams i've been using her in pve pvp um really putting a lot of time and investment in the claudia and she does offer a lot of utility right i've talked about it multiple times with the damage reduction with the immunities with the high charge rate with the low skill cooldown the switch in switch out gameplay style the physical resonance like claudia offers a lot and she's bringing a lot to the table but one thing about claudia that just really holds me back from her being like this amazing amazing simulacra is the buff and supporting capabilities that she is capable of being locked behind advancements that's the one thing that holds this simulacra back in particular in my opinion if those buffs or buffs in damage and supporting capabilities were built into like let's say her discharge for example so instead of her discharge providing immunity that it provides those buff and damage and even if it was just by a little percentage or a stacking mechanic I think that would be phenomenal for the discharge and i think that would make claudia an even better simulacra especially at a zero but you need to unlock those advancements to really unlock the potential of what this simulacra is capable of in particular and to get out of what you want from her right but at just a zero i think she's a good simulacra i just don't think she's a fantastic over the top incredible simulacra so for those reasons i'm actually going to put her in the a tier I think she's an A tier simulacra. I would put her high A tier. Like I would put her at the very highest of A tiers. If you want to argue A plus, I'm not going to argue with you. We can go back and forth. Low A plus, high A. I think that's where she belongs. It's kind of right in that mix. I think she's great. I think she's phenomenal. I love the low skill cooldown. I think she offers a lot and she's fun to play, but she just gets held back by her buffs and support being locked behind those advancements. Once again, if I think it was... If it was on the discharge, I would have had her in the A+, plus, maybe in the S, because she offers so much. But for right now, she's going to be an A. Maybe when we have more physical simulacras come out, like Lyra, she's going to shoot up. And if we ever get the collab characters, Mark, she'll shoot up even more, right? Because she'll just become that much more viable and that much more useful. Um, but for the time being, I think A tier, high A tier, low A plus tier is where I would have Claudia kind of teetering around that area. But once again, let me know what you guys think. And once again, I think she's fun. I think she offers a lot of utility. I think she has some pretty decent damage, but nothing to write home about. And I feel comfortable right where she's at here. So anyways, guys, that is my brand new tier list updated for um the new patch 1.5 with claudia out let me know what you guys think as always down in the comments below let me know your thoughts and opinions on it i'd love to see what you guys have to say hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully it was helpful if it did drop a like sub if you're new and i'll see you all in the next one remember to stand out be different have fun go further beyond in everything that you do my name is cody but you can call me further i'll see you all in the next one bye guys